Hello and welcome. Today we have a legend before us. The Titleist Kushnit, AC 108. They went to the local community college and found the physics professor and said, oh, we want to perimeter weight this, what should we do? And instead of like, oh, cut a big cavity, it's like, why don't you use some really dense material? Get some tungsten, you can put tungsten weights in it, it'll be awesome. And we'll name it AC 108, which kind of sounds cool. It sounds like a military gunship, you know what I mean? Like just load howitzers into the side of this military cargo plane, just blast it out of the side. You know, but they wouldn't do that. They would, you know, get Justin Thomas up there or something with like commemorative Augusta golf balls and like rain down some happy little like lightweight commemorative golf balls on the city of Augusta. If I were to name it, would I name it something different? AC 108. What would you, something macho? Muscle punch face person. Titleist, if you need somebody to name your golf clubs, just contact me through the YouTube contact link. It's labeled right here. A Kushnet, tungsten, AC 108, another tungsten weight right here. Lovely, love these weights, by the way. Dual cavity, kind of, you know, complements the dual weights. It seems appropriate. Titleist on the sole with the number of the club, seven iron in this case, looking at the toe profile, oh, very clean. The heel also looks pretty clean. I mean, there is kind of some radiusing going on right here. A nice little, almost like pillowing effect right there. So yeah, looks pretty good. The grooves, very down to, these Titleist people, very down to business kind of people. Moving up the step shaft, uh, well, let's look at the ferrule here real, real quick. This is the serial number right here. And then we have this gold black, white gold black ferrule right here, pretty interesting. We move on to this stepped shaft. You can see interesting frequency of steps as we move up. And this particular one doesn't have a label. And this looks like the original grip. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see on camera. I can't see it through the viewfinder, but there is an accouchenet written here on the grip. And this grip is not brilliant. Let's see if I can rotate this around and have a quick look at a dress before we get this out onto the range, see how it feels. So it really is amazing to hit super face punch, Hawaiian punch. The name was so good I already forgot it. Uh, the, the AC 108 feels amazing. I mean, you rotate it, it feels like it has there's a lot of mass out here. Like it, like it is high MOI. I really like tungsten. They still use tungsten. Lots of companies use tungsten in golf equipment. Ping, Titleist, TaylorMade. like, what are we gonna use? Tungsten. Great idea, good call. This was way ahead of its time. Something that has changed though, is the finish. They used to finish clubs like this. It looks very coarse. Like it just came off of uh, the anvil. Like it just, a blacksmith just barely handed it to you. Like, wow, you can still see hammer marks on it. Kind of a feel, right? It's very rough and coarse. Whereas today, that's one of the biggest things that's changed in my opinion, is the look of the club. They're very refined, very polished. The metal is, you know, very few imperfections. The material scientists have really gone to great extremes to make beautiful steel for us, which I appreciate. But there is something endearing about this kind of a finish. It just catches my eye as different. Like there is some handwork that goes into making these. It's almost like they were still using like sand molds and pouring the steel by hand, you know? That's how it looks, you know, probably not how they made it, but that's how it looks and I like that. So 
for me, absolutely legendary. The Kushnet tit the Titleist AC108, amazing in the history of golf irons. Have they improved on this at all other than looks? Interesting question. Let me know your thoughts about the AC108. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe. And as always, I'll put a link to my Amazon golf shop in the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.